Hello and welcome! This is Mouse Gunner, and we're back with some more Stellaris. At the end of the last video, we got a message that an unknown empire has rivaled this empire down here, but considering we're rivals with this empire already, that's fine with me. That's just more enemies of somebody I already don't like. Also, we have progressed with our fleet to merge them up now that we are allies with the Bothrian Empire. That is something I've been looking to get done for quite a while here. Uh, and we can actually start pushing into some of these areas that we couldn't previously enter because of enemy fleets. It mostly just uh, void clouds and things like that. So, let's go ahead and we were looking to merge up the fleet here. And they're doing that now. We also have some debris to pick up, which one of our science vessels is... Uh, getting ready to do we'll have our more powerful combined fleet that we're going to send out and clear out some of the space for us all right so then now they're combined up let's go ahead and send them out over here and get working on killing some bad aliens now if i remember correctly these two are pretty easy fights here we might lose a ship but did I grab the science ship on accident? Yes, I did. Get over here and research that. We still have a couple of these guys idle, but... We'll grab this guy. Send him over this way. So he's uh, closer... Uh, to... This system, so we can survey that on up. And we also have to go into this system and this system... To check on... More void clouds. Okay, what do we got? We've got a scientist leveling up. And we have a rivalry. I think we already talked about that. So here we are. The strength of this is 178 versus our more than 400. So I'm hoping we'll be able to deal with it. What is this fleet set to? They're not going to run away, are they? Nope. Okay. Okay. Get over there and fight them. And hopefully this goes pretty well. Hostile fleet engaged. Ouch. That's a pretty cool effect for the uh, void cloud. Doing damage to it pretty quickly here. Situation log updated. All right, so we're gonna send this guy into a different fleet. Grab him and tell him to go repair. The rest of the fleet was undamaged, so we're gonna come back out. And I believe the threat was about the same over here, so we'll jump over there and. Our one science vessel, which is now free, I think. Over. In. This guy right here. That's who I was looking for. Is going to come over here and. First. We'll pick up. That. And then once that's done. You can survey the system. Okay. And we're going to want our bigger fleet. Already is on its way. All right. We have new contact. We received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that called themselves the Fotation Divine Administration. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on communications of another empire we are in contact with. Okay. So they look relatively human. Uh, I bring greetings from revered elder Pujagor. 
the elected leader of the Photation uh, Divine Administration. We believe in the right of all sentient beings to fulfill their individual spiritual needs, and we hope you share this sentiment. So I'm going to say cooperation will surely benefit, benefit us all. And let's go ahead and take a look at them. So where are they? We don't know. They're down there. Okay, so that's not too close. Let's uh, take a look at them. Really particularly like us. It's because we are materialists and they are spiritualists, as they kind of said. They're also pacifists, though. Uh, which doesn't really necessarily give us a penalty or anything, necessarily. But that doesn't mean... I mean, that does mean that they're not really... A major threat, I guess. Maybe a potential ally to join us. But they also, I don't think, are rivals of the other guys. Like these guys, because I don't think it said, you know, rival... Uh, you both have the same rival, which would have been a bonus, I would assume. Okay. You know, we have this one science vessel that's down there not doing anything. Let's have it jump over to this... I'm going to move there. I'm going to put the guy on passive, though, so he doesn't uh, run away. Because I want him to come in there, check it out, and then jump through and come over here. At least that's the idea. As a matter of fact, we could just queue that move up. So they'll jump into this system, and then jump out. And that's all we need to get this stuff done. And then we'll have them come back when they're done. All right. Let's get back onto our fleet. We're about to pop into this system. There they are. And there is no threat that I can see. So we can send our survey vessel over there once they're good. Okay. I think that's all we wanted to clear up for now. I think most of these other threats were more hostile. We could check out this system, but I have a feeling that this was much more powerful enemy fleets. And I believe these two things, these two contacts, were more hostile as well. Like, more than 400 strength. We could check on it nonetheless, though. Because I, I can't clearly remember. And there's no real problem doing that. So we'll just send these guys over here. And we'll continue. Debris analyzed. Alright, so that means these guys are free, so they can come over here and survey this system. Continental world. We've got a tropical and arid world. Alright. Nothing spectacular for us, but we can still go over and do the surveys. And these guys are still going to get repaired. We're coming over here to deal with that. You know, some of these fleets, you don't really know if they're going to be there when you check. And I think that contact was the same contact that was here. I think it actually chased after one of my ships. But we're back on track with our science vessels exploring the galaxy. Which is what our race likes to do. Debris analyzed. All right, so the debris is analyzed. Oh, we can check the benefits of that. So we've got uh, progress towards active countermeasures, and we've got some physics and engineering research. And over here, we have uh, lightning conduits progress, as well as regenerative hull tissue and some physics and society stuff. Okay. Now, this fleet is repairing. Probably going to take a while, though. They were pretty banged up. So this fleet, we're going to want to jump on as soon as it gets in the system, because if um, the hostile in here is too dangerous... What's going on here? Rivalry. All right, so again, rivalry's gone back and forth. All right, so this isn't too bad. We can deal with this. So let's grab our fleet and send it in there. Research complete. 
And what is the research we got? We got the missiles. Okay. So we can upgrade our ships. All right. I think at this point, we go for the ability to build destroyers. Although we technically might already have that ability if we upgrade our space stations. We could also go up to the next level of missiles, which would be more effective. Or get better engines. I think currently we're using base engines, so we probably want an upgrade there. Go ahead for that. Okay. Let's watch this. It looks like another Hostile void cloud. Engaged. All right. Did significant damage to us at range, but once we get close in like this, we're doing racking up the damage really fast. Our one ship's repaired. Situation log updated. All right. So let us break up the fleet again. Or we could just research. Yeah, let's just go, I mean, go repair. Yeah, let's just go repair with the whole fleet. They'll meet up with the rest of the fleet. Ooh. Where is there a hostile fleet? This is the science vessel here. Which is here. They're jumping through, though. So, in theory... They should get through okay. As a matter of fact, they've been jumping through enemy ships here. And as far as that one situational thing goes, where we're going through the drifting clouds, we have two done. We just need a couple more. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll just follow the science ship for now. Which is this guy, right? So he's about to jump out. They're not really even coming after him. There he goes. We are uh, discovering a lot of uh, hostile contacts, though, doing this. And... Wow, these guys are just racking up rivals, aren't they? Nobody really likes them. Again, I don't like them, so... Not too surprising to me, but... Anomaly found. Okay. So we've got first contact here. And they look very similar to us. Pitiful creatures. Know that we roam the stars for aeons before your hapless species master space flight. If any of your wretched little ships cross into our space, do not expect them to return. Okay, so they're pretty mean, but they're, they claim to be an ancient. We'll just say we're delighted to meet you and leave it at that. We also have a uh, anomaly, which I don't know where that is. I'm just going to say leave B for now so I can figure out where the heck that is. Okay, it's over here. Okay, so this guy... My one science vessel is missing in action. Interesting. So, jumped into that system and was never heard from again. I, I, I guess? Can we tell him to come back? I mean, he might have done the mission we sent him out to do. Let's see. Yeah, he got three of five. <laughs> All right, um, let's see if we can get him back. We send him back over here. Oh, we're not getting anything, so he's gone, possibly dead. Interesting. Well, that's not cool, I guess. So uh, let's just uh, go ahead. The first time I've uh, I've 
seen that. So, oh, who, who? There we go. At least one of your fleets have gone missing in action. It will take some time to return and rejoin the ranks. Okay. And we already, I think, dealt with the hostile hostiles. And this fleet is done. Yeah, they're going to the, the station to repair. So, all right. So they'll come back, it sounds like. Ooh, 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 strategic resource. The first time we've seen another and case of that. Too bad that planet isn't all that habitable. System survey complete. Out of curiosity, this contact uh, with the these guys. They are a stagnant ascendancy. All right, so they are fanatic xenophobes, which I guess is why they were behaving the way they did. All right, they're ben we're beneath their notice, and they have overwhelming power. So. They're an older race, sounds like. Okay. Oh, speaking of which, do we want to set up an embassy here? Let's uh, communicate with these guys. And establish an embassy. There we go. These guys, they really don't, I mean, they're not, they don't hate us. Probably we should just stay away from them, because they're very powerful. Okay. Got this guy not having anything to do. So I guess we can do this anomaly now. That is Gethmar that is there, right? So, 15%. Alright. Sounds like fun. We also have to pick up this debris eventually. All right. As soon as our, our fleet is repaired, we'll probably send them out to this. This is where there was a lot of alien vessels. There's a lot here, too. Okay, so we're finishing repairs. Okay. So we're going to want... Come down here. And deal with maybe this fleet. So that we can see what's down here. We also have enough influence that we could build a outpost here, which I think I'm going to do. I can't afford to build a colony right now, but I can afford the outpost. So, Although that does consume our influence, doesn't it? We'd be at a, a net gain of nothing. So I probably shouldn't do that. One thing I... I can do, though, if we go to Empire. I can recruit an Admiral, and I can recruit some Governors. Because we do have Leader Space, so let's recruit an Admiral. Alright, so we've got Evasion, Sublight Speed, and Speed Overall. Uh, lifespan. And Sensor Range. Well, this sounds like the best of the bunch. Let's recruit this guy. And let's... Oh, we want to combine this fleet, don't we? Urge. And... Just tell them to chill right now. And you guys can merge. Once they're merged... Okay. Find leader. Him. And send him... Down here. Like he we were going to do. Okay. Now we need some governors, because we do have a number of planets that are not being governed. So, empire and governors. So, we've got a experience gain. 
All right, we don't need slave labor, so we'll recruit this guy. And clear blocker costs. Well, that sounds good. We'll recruit this guy. And we need one more. And we'll guess we'll take this guy. Okay, now we need governors. So first, start here. Sure, where you apply the governors. Um, planets. There we go. So, no. Planets. Governor. How do I? How do I add you? Ah, here we go. So we've got... Let's back up here, though. Which planet needs the most blockers removed? Ignoring test. So we've got... Decent number there. Decent number there. Ooh, wow, this planet is just full of them. All right, so this guy is the one we want. The blocker guy, which is this guy. So, find him. Then we go through... Change. Uh. Grab this guy. And then we have one more. And we want that guy. All right. Good stuff. We've got governors on all of our planets. And we've got an admiral. And also, our planets, we haven't really been keeping an, uh, too much of an eye on them. Right now, we want to build basic lab. But need to maintain everything. So, I just hold off for now. Go. All right. Do we need energy? We need it badly. But we can't afford to clear any of these, huh? So, that's just science. We might actually have to trade for energy to get energy, it looks like. Because all of our energy resources on these planets are blocked. This is the guy that had the discount, though. So we might be able to do something here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade with our ally uh, to get... Uh, energy credits, because I desperately need some. And... We'll do about 150, and we'll give them minerals that will balance out the trade. It looks like we're having to overpay a little bit, but... That should get us a little bit of a boost so that we can start working on improving ourselves. So, okay. Now that we have that, first let's start off with this planet. So we're going to clear this out so we can get the energy. Oh, we haven't done that tech yet, huh? Still 14 months away. Did we do the, um... Shoot. So we did do the hostile organisms, though, right? So we could do these ones. What I might want to do is switch around the governors to make sure I'm getting the discount at all times. So let's grab this guy. Okay. Then let's go back to the planet we pulled him from. And grab the available guy. This is the guy that we... I'm confused at who's available, so we're just going to have to wait. Okay. 
It's this guy. All right, so just hold on a second. There, he's available. One that doesn't have a governor. It says everybody has a governor. All right. I honestly am confused. Does they all have governors? All right. This is the one that we want, though. N no, he's not on the right planet. Ah, this is the one. Okay, yeah. There we go. All right, so we want to clear him. It's going to cost us that much. Clear. And we'll wait uh, to clear this one until that was done. All right. That guy that can uh, clear stuff is really going to be helpful. The so Derelict Shipyard, a large portion of asteroid 9965H45 has been hollowed out to allow for the construction of some kind of shipyard. It has been abandoned and exposed to vacuum of space for centuries. If anything useful remained, it has already been looted by previous explorers. The design of the shipyard itself is unique, however, and much could potentially be learned by its study. All right, so we just gained some research over there. Okay, so this guy, we've got a science ship that's not doing anything. You're going to come over here. You're going to grab that. And you're going to survey the system. Okay. And as soon as this clearing is done, we're going to assign a population point to that energy and then start building a building on it immediately. System survey complete. All right, system survey is complete, so uh, one of our science missiles does not have anything to do. I'm gonna have you come over here and survey this system, because this is closer to our space. Construction complete. All right. Let's get our population over there. So right now we're working science and food. What is our food production like? It's only one uh, bonus here. So we have to keep the food uh, production going. Matter of fact, we probably should build... Probably build a hydroponic farm here. And also... But we're going to be moving this guy, so there you go. And we're going to build a basic power plant. Yeah. No. Cancel. Selected on the wrong thing. All right. Build basic power plant. There we go. We've got somebody migrating from somewhere. Migrating to test. So they're leaving the planet. One, two, three, four, five. We have the five population, though, so we can upgrade this. So, might as well. Cost us influence, but it's going to be fine. This doesn't have enough population yet. We could build, um, we would lose minerals, but we could build here a power plant. Glad I noticed that. And over here, everything's going fine. So these guys, they're going to build that, and then we're going to be good, hopefully. All right, I think things are starting to come together. We can start taking advantage of things. All 
All right, well, that's fine. And I think we're going to put a cut in the video here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.